This is called Vicious Vacuuming that um, I, I pioneered because the thing about vacuuming is you need to do it with energy and vim and vigour, otherwise the stuff doesn't get off. Especially, especially with cat hair. Cat hair, animal hair. In fact, this reminds me of um, a conversation I was having at work and um, why, the question is this, why don't manufacturers of couches and stuff give a pet hair stickability rating on all couch material? Because people who have animals, they want to know, will the bloody cat hair come off? Or will it require using a jandal? Now there's another thing, to get cat hair off. Okay, so vicious vacuuming. Right, well I'll show you an example. This over here is a mat that has had a lot of cat hair on it. Okay, here we go. Vicious, 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 vicious. You may think, that looks pretty good. But let me tell you, there is still cat hair on there. Here we go again. Vicious, vicious, vicious. Okay, now we have to get to plan B. Plan B involves getting this small, but highly concentrated, implement to put on the end of the vacuum cleaner. Actually, I'd just like to say that this is actually working extremely well. And um, so I'll continue doing with it. Doing it, I mean. Oh, turn it off when you do something, woman. Ah! But there is still cat hair left on it. And this is what I would do in the last resort. And that's the, uh, the old brown packaging tape. Can you see all those cat ears that have got off? <laughs> so that is vicious vacuuming in a nutshell.